Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how you can quickly texture an object in Blender 2.8 and I'll be showing this as quickly as possible and this is meant as a quick start guide. This will be the first of many texture painting in 2.8 tutorials. In future episodes I'll be going through layers, painting PBR, so bump and reflections, using different brushes and stencils and lots more. This course is all part of a much bigger course on gabbit.co.uk where you can go from beginner right through to advanced levels and all the courses are free. If you're getting stuck at all, go across to the Discord server, the links are in the description and you can chat to like-minded people and maybe join in some of the competitions there. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Blender 2.8 and I've created a basic shape of a pillar. I won't be going through modeling, but you can find other courses on that on my website. Also, I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of the interface. So what we must do first before painting is unwrap our object. So in edit mode, as you can see up here, I'm in edit mode, select everything, with A and press U to unwrap. Now you can do complicated unwraps, but I'm just going to do the simplest, which is a smart UV project, which is the second one down. And then you'll see this menu, and the only thing I'm going to change is the island margin, and I'll put that up to three, and press OK. So now that our shape has been unwrapped, we can paint. So we'll go across to the texture painting panel, which is up here on the top. There's our unwrap, so that's how our 2D information is going to be painted onto our 3D object. And you can see our object has turned purple. That means it has no texture to paint on, so I can't paint anything on here yet. And it says missing textures detected. In order to add a texture, we need to make sure that we're on our texture draw panel just here. And that's with this icon at the top here. So I click away from that and click back on it. There's the texture draw panel. And we can easily add a texture where it says no textures. We just add a texture here, base color, so you can actually paint lots of different maps, but the base color is just the simple color of the object. So we'll click on that. You can change the name of this map and you can change the size and the color, the base color of the map. I think it's a good idea to change this to 2048, so double it. And in this case, I want to change the base color to a very bluey gray for a pillar. Then press okay. And there's my base color ready for painting. You've got different brushes up here. You've also got them over here and you've got the different tools of that brush just here. The main one to use is just the texture draw brush. You can change its color here. You can sample colors from over here by pressing S and get the eyedropper and it will pop up in here and then I can actually select that color. You can change the radius or you can press F in your viewport and the strength or press Shift F in your viewport. And now we're ready to paint. So I'll quickly change the color, check that's working. You should, when you paint on here, see the image coming up here. And in this case, I can't. My images are up the top here, so there's open and new. And if I press on the arrow next to those, I can see my material base color is already there. So I can click on that, and there it is, and you can see where I've drawn. Finally, when you finish painting, where it says image up the top here, you can save your image. So save image as, and once you've saved your image, you can then export this object, put it into any sort of game engine, and add this material to it as the color. So that's the quick start guide. I'll be going through how you can change brushes, how you can add stencils, draw on different layers, add transparency, and much more in later episodes. I'll also put links in the description if there are any updates and to any other useful YouTube videos that may help you. Mm -hmm.